What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers series. Or let I gotta figure out a better name for that. I was gonna say Let's Play series, but it just sounds weird. Anyway, Space Engineers. We're just gonna go with Space Engineers. Anyways, in the last episode, we kind of got uh, squared away for the most part on all the basic needs, but I'm not really around anything per se. Um. Like, uh, I don't have any ice or sulfur. Not sulfur. What am I thinking of? Sulfur. Uh, I don't know what game I'm playing. Ice and um, cobalt is actually what I was thinking, because I need cobalt for something. I don't remember what it was. I think it was something to do with thrusters. Anyways, so I got this idea that since we don't really have a lot going on at the moment, I'm going to try this episode and do a mobile base. I don't know how quickly that's gonna go just because I don't know exactly how many resources I'll need. Um, I did do a turtle design right here. My turtle rover. Um, you can kind of see it from here. Uh, I don't know if I can't... yeah it's only in creative mode that I can copy and do that. So um, it basically would have all of this stuff, all the basic uh, bits and bobs that we would need. Um, Actually, I think it has the full versions of the refinery and the assemblers, to be honest. But anyways, uh, we and I did find out that I believe survival kits can respawn you. So we probably don't need a medical room right away. Um, the one thing I'm not sure about is if I have a projector. Do I have a projector? Can I build a projector? Uh, I don't see one. So where is the projector in the progression tree? It uh, looks like... Oh, come on, where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. There it is. No, that's reactors. Dang, nabbit, where's the projector? And all this. I could just search it, I guess. Projector, there it is. So, I need to build some lights real quick, and that should give me access to a projector, and it looks like everything I can build from basic stuff. So, that should be easy enough to do. Um, so that we can make um, a projector that then we can build our mobile command center off of. And as far as this goes, I did get a comment on Patreon about this. Um, that the, the windmills do need to be high-ish. Um, but I don't think they need to be that high. Um, it, I think it was eight or nine blocks was what was said. Um... So, a little bit overkill, but it's working now. Um, by the way, I did want to bring that up for those of you that may or may not be aware. If you commented on the last episode and you, it doesn't seem like I'm acknowledging you or anything like that um, until a couple episodes later, that is because I'm starting a new system where I'm posting my videos a week early on Patreon first. Um, so by the time I'm making these, you guys are probably seeing the previous episode now and patrons are getting to see this current episode. So, um, it'll probably be an episode behind based on you guys' feedback and stuff like that, just as a clarification in case anyone was wondering. So, I'm going to pause this and do some mining and get materials going, and I'll probably come back uh, when we have a projector up and running. So, I will see you then. Alrighty, so, first of all, I just want to point out, this is kind of a goofy looking shadow. I know that it's actually right, but I landed like this and it kind of looked like the, the thing was bent. It just looked funny. Um, so, this is the projector and I've got kind of the skeleton sort of going, but this is going to take a lot of mining. Um, I had not fully anticipated how much work this was going to be. I mean, it's not terrible, right? You got... Most all of this stuff I'm pretty sure is just steel and motors and all the basic components. Um, I don't think there's anything really in here. The battery or batteries. Is there more than one? I thought I had more. Oh yeah, there's one there and then there's one there. I turned off the... Um, well, I, I actually turned on to only show buildable because it was getting a little confusing as to what I was targeting. Um, but yeah, it's just like like that. Where did I go? I keep getting stuck on all these conveyor things. Uh, it's, it's one of these in here that I just looked at had like 25 or like that, you know, 25, 40 basic uh, 
steel plates for like each thing. Um, and I guess I did go with the basic assembler and refinery. I didn't have the full ones on here. Um, you can kind of get the idea though of what it looks like. Actually, I got a better idea. I'll just show you what it kind of looks like. Sorry, I'm still getting used to kind of flying around with all this stuff. Um, let's turn off only show buildable, or show only buildable. So this is basically the design of the ship. Um, there's some solar panels on the tops for power. There's like three batteries. Um, there's a connector for like a small drilling ship. There's catwalks. I've got a gyroscope for emergency um, controls. Three batteries. I think there's two or three um, small cargo containers under here, and then it pipes into the assembler and the uh, refinery and the survival kit. So not too crazy. I tried to keep my expectations within reason. Um, and not try and build a flagship or anything. And then, of course, you've got the wheels um, over here. And I've driven it around a little bit in a creative test world, and it actually works pretty well. The only thing that concerns me is time. Like, this is going to take a, a minute um, to do all of this just because of the sheer amount of materials and stuff I would need. Um, to do it all. It's not crazy crazy. It's totally doable. It's just one of those where I'm trying to decide on whether or not it would be better to create um, some kind of drill. I think I just... Ooh, I just got a good idea, actually. So I saw a... I've been watching a couple tutorials because, honestly, I've been out of Space Engineers for a while, so I was trying to see what the new if there was anything new going on. And one of the things that I read about or heard about in one of the videos was to um, build up vertical pistons, but extend them all, and then build like one or two pistons that were compressed with a drill or two on the end of it. And then when you basically send the drill down, you can um, extend the pistons that are facing down, but then you can retract multiple pistons that are um, that were already facing up. Basically, you build it to where the drill is already ground level, but the pistons are all extended, and then however many extensions is how far the drill can go. And I was like, that's not a bad idea. That's pretty cool. Um, so I may just make a simple one based off of this O2 H2 generators port. I may just build like three. What, what, uh, how much do pistons cost anyway? Um, okay, so even on a large grid, they're not terrible. It's a few motors, computers, large um, steel tubes, and then construction components, steel plates. It's not bad. So I'll probably build like three of them and fully extend them. Uh, and then build maybe compressed pistons going down um, so that I can drop all those and then extend all of those. And that should get us pretty far down in terms of building. So yeah, I'm gonna try and work on that because otherwise this project's gonna take too long uh, without, and I, I just use the, uh, in case you didn't notice, I just use the um, catwalks on the bottom to cover up some of the exposed stuff as well as on the top. Um, so it's a fairly simple design, but it should take all of this functionality here and make it mobile uh, to where we can actually like, you know, drive around and find some resources and then park and maybe make a more permanent solution um, the other thing is I did do some progression advancements. Um, I built the lights to get the projector, obviously. Uh, what was the other thing that I did? I built an interior block so that I have access to all this good stuff, which I needed the catwalks for. Um, we have access to the drills. I built a landing gear so I could get access to the wheels, but we also got all this stuff. I got an interior uh, control station because I wasn't sure if I wanted to end up making um, atmospheric thrusters and do more of a driller, but we need cobalt for that. And that's the metal grids, I think, anyway. I'm pretty sure that's what I needed that for. Um, I also built one of these small conveyors so I could get to the connectors and collectors, uh, mainly the connector. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be my plan. This episode, I will probably try and get a, a stationary drill rig going and see how that works. And we're going to kind of 
suspend this at the moment until I can get some more resources going. So I'm going to pause again and try and get that set up. Okay, so I might have gone a little overboard on my calculations, but this drill should last us a pretty good amount of time. So, um, yeah, like I said before, what I'm basically doing is something that I saw in a video, and I extended three pistons up, and then I went over with um, a conveyor tube here, which I need some more small steel tubes for those, and uh, then basically was doing pistons down compressed, so that as these compress, then you have this length that you can extend it. And if my math is right, it's about eight pistons, I think. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the drill. Sorry about the tree. Then the drill at the base. Now, the only problem that I'm running into right now is the sheer amount of iron that I'm needing to do all of this. Um, so I did, I, I, I will admit, I did crank up my... Um, character inventory space to 10x just to make the mining runs because I'm still doing it by hand at the moment more bearable um, because I was only bringing in like two or three K stone which was getting me maybe a hundred a hundred iron or something like that or 50 iron something like that and I need like four thousand or something still now that said uh, what am I at yeah 3700 um, and I've been getting about 50 iron out of, like, 3,000 stone, 2,000 stone, somewhere in there. So with the 10x, I'm pulling in, like, 10k stone. So it, it just makes things go a little bit faster. Um, now the only thing that I've noticed, and this is kind of a tip for anyone else who's just starting out and wanting to do piston stuff, you don't actually need the large steel tubes for the piston part on the top to actually function. Um, it's just barely above the functional line, but it will function. You do need them for the um, pistons to function, however, but I didn't know that at the time. And so there's a lot more... Um, actually, these are four... I can actually just do the math on this and figure out... Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six left. 6, 4 is 24. Does this need any? Needs 12. So, basically about 36. So I can cancel out a lot of this other stuff. Anyway, so that's just... I wanted to give a quick update on what the plan is. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get this built or not. I'll probably get the wireframe set up and then maybe... Because this, this kind of took a, uh, a turn where I wanted to get the mobile base done this episode, but I'm needing a much faster way to get resources, so I think this is going to be the priority at the moment, and I'm hoping we'll get this drill thing done. I'm going to see if I can get rid of this tree or something. Can I grind this tree or something? Oh, you can! Oh, that's cool. I don't think I got anything for it. No, but at least it's out of our hair, or will be, in a minute when it despawns, I guess. Are you going to despawn anytime today? All right, whatever. It'll go. Oh, there it goes. Ah, so much better. Not that I'm a proponent of cutting down trees, but in this game, very much so. So, um, I'm gonna work on trying to cut the bare minimum of resources that I need and cut out the rest and get this drill functional, uh, because that's probably gonna end up being the highlight of this episode at the moment is getting this drill functioning, and then. Um, I'm going to probably do some more off-camera work between now and the, the next episode and hopefully get this guy at least somewhat built. At least have a skeleton and, and be working on that. But I think it'll go a lot faster once we get this drill. So, let me get back to my mining and I will be back when we're a little bit more squared away. Okay, so now things are getting a little bit interesting. Um, as you can see here, I've started drilling with the drilling rig, but I haven't completed the pistons because as I was doing this, I thought to myself, you knucklehead, finish the drill, and then you can manually pull materials out of the drill, but it saves me from having to run over here and deal with, um, well, this. This is my mining area. It's annoying. <laughs> I mean, yes, I know that you can, um, for those of you that don't, actually, 
you can actually double tap the controls of different tools and have them basically auto like instead of holding down the button just double tap the mouse and the drill will just keep going without you doing anything um, same with welders and other things so that's pretty useful but it still takes forever um, so now the only other things that I did I went back and watched a couple of tutorial videos and I've done a couple of things with the pistons that some of you may not be aware of if you are great I have the shear inertia tensor on now I don't think it's working for some of these that aren't complete so I don't it's still got quite a bit of wobble um, so I'm not really sure if that's um, kind of because they're incomplete or because this is so lengthy of a chain I'm not really sure um, the other thing that I did is I went back and in the uh, uh, survival starter tutorial series I was watching they mentioned a good speed for the destruction of voxel ratio versus the piston speed was like 0.4 so I put it at 0.3 just to be safe um, so essentially I've got the high low and mid of the um, the base pistons and then all of these I have yet to actually name number etc but what we basically do is we're going to turn the drill on you can see it shakes a bit but it's not too terrible um, the high one is already completely down so we'll do the mid one next it's on uh, so we'll just reverse the speed and so it should just kind of go along there but I don't think the drill head is hitting the ground because um, basically from what I'm finding out from different tutorials and things you don't really want the drill hitting the ground and it also creates a bigger hole um, if you let the drill go a bit slower because it takes out more of the voxels around it. I don't know why I still have my headlight on. Um, so yeah that's pretty cool and yeah, where's that at? It's almost fully down so I guess we'll just fly down there um, that's probably the easiest way. I was gonna say I'd pull it back up, but well, I would fly down here. Can I get down here? There we go. Alright, wrong button. So there, that's 63! That's crazy how much different- right, we're gonna pull that back up actually because that's gonna take me way too long to fly down there and haul all of that out. Um, I'm just gonna drop that in here for now. Let's bring... which one was it? The mid? Let's bring that back up. That was almost a perfect height. So yeah, I'm basically just gonna go back and um, fix all of these up. And I'm gonna basically do um, the pistons first so that the large steel tubes don't end up going to the rotor head parts. Or not rotor head, but the piston head parts. Um, so let me go ahead and finish this up, and then we'll go from there. Behold! The new drilling rig. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure this thing is going to keep me going for quite a while. Um, that one... Like, I, lo I let the, the middle one go all the way down and then brought it all the back way back up. It had 68k. I know you guys probably saw that. That's why I said I was bringing it back up. But still, that's nuts. So that's 68,000 on 1, 2, 10. <laughs> I mean, rough math. 10, 68k. What is that? Like, uh, 6.8 million or something? Or 680,000? I don't remember. It's probably... Probably 680,000. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Um, so, yeah, now the only thing is I have read a couple of things about the cost of a large grid drill versus the small grids that you can do like five. So that's something that we might end up doing. I may end up, once we get a pipeline going, uh, speaking of which, let's get you going. And then let's grab, and you can see I numbered all of my pistons. Let's do, what did I say, the mid one needed to reverse. It was on, right? Yeah, okay. I was going to say it wasn't doing anything. And let's, I don't think it'll matter if we do this at the same time. 
Yeah, it does kind of look like it's going faster, so we'll wait for this one to bottom out. I don't know, I doubt it's getting anything from that. Oh, I guess it is still getting a little bit. Oh, I still had stone in my inventory somehow. Alright, so once that one has stopped, I mean, it's basically stopped. Alright, now let's reverse this one. Now, ideally, when we do this, and then all three of those go down to the bottom, then we'd start up at that one at the very top and extend it and so on and so forth, or that one down at the bottom. It, it wouldn't really matter all that much. It would just be how you did it. But let's see how we're looking. Um, so that's 38k? How did that happen? Oh, that's because it's getting stuff from... Okay, I was going to say, I was like, I didn't put that much in there from my inventory, did I? No, so yeah, we've got quite a bit coming in. And that... Where's the drill, actually? Where's the drill's inventory? So the drill has 45 in it. This has 38 in it, and this has 10. We are, we have a good production pipeline going at this point, I would say. Um, yeah. Uh, the only thing is I can probably turn this off. Because unless that interferes with the inventory, it is not. Okay, cool. So yeah, uh, basically we're going to have a crap ton of stuff now. So we should be more than able to build our drone, or not our drone, our mobile base in the next episode, more than likely. Um, a couple of things before we wrap up, though, I did want to point out, I don't think I pointed this out already, um, because actually this has taken place over a couple of days. I haven't actually recorded this all in one sitting because of the amount of grind it took to get this many pistons going, which it is a lot, but totally worth it. I mean, I could have done one or two and had these collapsed and then just rebuilt the drill later, but I'm happy with this. This worked out really good. Um, so first of all, I did turn my microphone up a little bit. When I was going back through and editing different episodes, it sounded like I was taking a backseat to the game noise. Um, and so I turned it up just a tad, but if it seems too loud now and I'm overpowering, uh, let me know. Because like I said, I haven't really done a whole lot of... This is the first real set of recording episodes and stuff that I've done... Uh, since I moved and had taken a break, so all of my settings should be fine, but uh, when I reset up my computer and everything, I had to recalibrate my microphone and earphones and all that stuff. So, um, I turned it up a smidge, but if it's too loud, let me know. The other thing is I wanted to point out, now that we're on to episode 2, if you guys have commented on episode 1 and you're not getting my feedback, like I'm not acknowledging your comment or doing what you mentioned if it was a smart idea in my videos, um, that's because of my new policy that I'm doing um, my episodes release a week early on Patreon. So when you're seeing the episodes, it's a week after I've recorded them and I'm already working on the next episodes. Um, so I haven't seen your comments by the time I'm making the next episode, so I just wanted to kind of let everybody know that in case you're going, hey, I gave him a really good idea and he should have used that and he didn't even say anything about it. That's probably why. Um, so you'll, like, if you commented on episode one, you'll probably hear me acknowledge it or something in episode three. Um, now I probably will respond on the comment section or something like that, but I just wanted to let everybody know. Um, yeah, so I think that's most of the PSA type announcements I wanted to make. So I think the next episode we're going to be working on this guy making our little mobile turtle. Um, and that'll give us a bit more of an ability to at least drive around, find some special ore deposits like cobalt and ice and stuff like that. Now this doesn't have a drill on it. I'm still trying to figure out a good way to build a drill onto it. I may replace the connector on the top port. I had that there for a small drill ship, but for now I may do some kind of like single stack, just one piston with an arm and then like another piston and a drill or something like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.